in this video i will share 10 scientifically proven characteristics qualities of an effective public speaker Public speaking is a learned skill. It's not something you are born with or for any specific group of people or outgoing people. Everyone can learn public speaking and master public speaking. In this video, I will share 10 scientifically proven characteristics, qualities of an effective public speaker. But before that, we must understand the importance of public speaking. The power of public speaking is you can spread your message across with a vast majority of people confidently and effectively and you can create an impact at every single time you speak and even you can turn your public speaking into successful business. Here are the 10 qualities of effective public speakers. You can make a note if you like. So grab your pen and pad with you. The one is confidence. Confidence is the foundation of all great success. There is no comparative to confidence at all. Beyond everything, confidence is must. Confidence is huge when it comes to public speaking. It plays a very vital role. So think of this one. Whenever you are speaking, if you don't appear confident, if you don't appear credible, audience are not going to pay attention to you. So you have to be credible, believable, convincing and persuasive. You can convey credibility by confidence. So confidence is must. The second is passion. So why do we need to be passionate? For example, when you are talking, the audience are not particularly interested in what you are speaking, but the passion is infectious, it's contagious and it can excite the audience as well. So the passion is must. There are so many people out there, they are not passionate about it. You have to be passionate to spread your message effectively. Third, energy and excitement. Whenever you look at great speakers, they are very energetic on the stage. Whether it is on the stage or with a group of people or addressing a large crowd, they are very energetic. Before you even speak, your energy actually speaks for it. And the other thing is excitement. Think of this one. If you yourself is not excited to speak and why would audience be excited for you. So you got to be excited to speak to the audience. You got to be excited to share your message across. Then audience will get excited for you. The fourth one is relationship. So public speaking is very much a simple relationship with the audience. It's not just about having a strong or effective speaker. It's about the relationship that the speaker manages to establish with the audience. The relationship between a speaker and audience is a reciprocal one. A strong speaker can influence directly how the audience feels. Think of this one. If you say something personal, you feel closer to everyone. As a speaker, if you can bring that emotional component of you into the speech, then you are taking the first step to build a relationship with your audience or a group or a judge or whoever happens to be because you are already feel closure. The fifth one is connection. You might have heard about this. Public speaking is not about perfection. Public speaking is about connection. So as a confident and effective speakers, you have to connect with your audience at every point of time. That's the real art of public speaking. Then how can you connect with the audience? You can connect with the audience 
by speaking about something that is relevant to them that they care about that they are interested in if it is completely irrelevant it doesn't matter how capable you are as a speaker or an orator they are not going to listen to you and they are not going to pay attention and they are not going to get anything out of it so at the end of the day it's going to be a bad experience for everyone so connection is the most important factor when it comes to public speaking six is knowledge the basis of any speaker is knowledge knowledge will allow you to feel confident which will convey credibility and leads to persuasiveness remember there is always going to be someone in the audience who is more knowledgeable than you but you don't have to worry about it all you have to do is believe in yourself to believe in yourself you have to start off with the knowledge you got to know the subject as simple as that you can read books articles and talk to people and have a in depth knowledge of your subject knowledge is essential to achieve confidence and confidence is essential to achieve credibility and credibility is essential to being convincing seventh is voice modulation or vocal variety voice modulation is one of the most important tool you will use as a public speaker if you look at great speakers the way they modulate the voice high pitch low pitch tone of voice control their voice so when you talk about exciting things when you talk about some motivational inspirational enthusiasm or when you talk about authenticity when you talk about emotional there are so many things which you can master using the voice modulation voice modulation is one of the most beautiful topic in public speaking a to one is be yourself you don't have to mimic others you don't have to copy others everyone has their own way of talents everyone has their own way of speaking if you look at great speakers like simon sinek brian tracy tony robbins les brown simajit singh and so many great speakers out there they have their own style they have their own talents they have their own way of speaking they have their own way of presenting things so be yourself you don't have to copy others ninth one is reputation this is where most of the people will fail see i have trained hundreds of people so far students professionals business owners entrepreneurs housewives kids and many people after the training has completed they will leave everything reputation is the key practice over and over and over reputation is the one which will take your confidence to the next level meditate just 5 minutes a day which is all you need 5 minutes a day is all it takes you don't have to practice for hours of time the 5 minutes of practice each and every single day will take your confidence to the next level the 10th one last but not the least is experimentation and delivery experimentation is essentially the life blood of any speaker you can keep doing the same thing over and over and over and refining your ability to do that one thing or you can experiment experimentation is very essential many times you will fail it's okay that's healthy by doing mistakes only you will come to know that's how you will learn that's how you will grow from that you will improve from that and you will eventually master in it experimentation is the key to growth and lastly delivery so when it comes to public speaking delivery is everything whenever you look at confident and strong speakers the way they talk the delivery is entirely different you can easily figure out 
they will stand for the best. So confident speakers, they distinguish themselves from others. So we have to distinguish ourselves from others. When you do that, audience will pay attention to you. When they pay attention to you, then they will listen to you. Being playful, being creative and so forth. That's how you can distinguish yourself. So when it comes to public speaking, delivery is everything. So I hope you find this useful. Comment below which is your most favorite out of these 10. So if you are struggling to speak in front of people or a group of people or on the stage or anywhere, if you have a problem when it comes to public speaking, please do let me know. What is your biggest struggle, biggest fear when it comes to public speaking? Comment below. I will take a look at it and I will address it in my next video. See you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.